It's Vintage Vinny and welcome to another drop sale. I've got 12 more awesome items to offer you all today with the hopes that you will purchase them. So again, if you've never bought anything from me before, please make sure you include your name, your YouTube name, your PayPal email, and your shipping address so that way I can send you your items. I do everything through PayPal because it is secure for both you and I. So all you have to do if you have never bought from a drop sale before is if you see something you like, Put it in the comment section, the number that is, and if you are the first person to claim it, it is yours. I do a sale on Saturday, every Saturday that I possibly can, and I can combine your orders. So if you make multiple claims from my sales throughout the week, and you want me to just wait and tack it onto the stuff you claim on Saturday, I'm more than happy to combine shipping. That way you're not paying a whole bunch of money for just a few things here or there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'd like to offer you all is this adorable piggy bank. I mean, look at her. She is just the sweetest. She has a marking. I'm not exactly sure what it says. Um, it just says Japan. Let me hold on. It just says trademark reg USA Japan. She's got a lot of crazing, but she's absolutely adorable. You could put her on a vanity. You could put her just in your decor in general. She does need a stopper. But other than that, no cracks or chips, just lots of crazy because she is older. If you are interested in her, she's $14 and she's number 30. $14, number 30 for the adorable pig piggy bank. All righty, moving right along here. I've got the true story or the story of John F. Kennedy and um, it was made for uh, Wonder Book. Um, put out in 1964, the year after he was assassinated. I know that this is a very beloved president back in the day, and probably still is to this day. And it's in good shape overall. I can ship this media mail because it is a book, and the ads that are in here are about 58 years outdated. <laughs> so if you're interested in the John F. Kennedy book, it's $5, and it's number 37. $5, number 37 for the John F. Kennedy book. We're moving right along. Next item I'd like to offer you all is this awesome Hazel Atlas measuring cup. I do believe that this was a nut chopper at one point in time, but it is missing the top. But no biggie. I'm sure if you wanted to just use this for measuring either way, you could. I don't see why not. No cracks or chips. Uh, that is $8 and it's number 31. $8 number 31 for the Hazel Atlas measuring cup that was once a nut chopper. This adorable poodle, I'm surprised nobody has bought yet. I've shared it a couple times, but I did drop the price on it. Uh, it's rhinestone, uh, yellow poodle, bow tie, and yellow. I don't ever see yellow poodles. I see pink and blue and white. I don't ever see yellow. But he's on the wingback chair. I assume it's probably a Japanese piece. Uh, he is $12, number 26. $12, number 26 for the yellow rhinestone poodle eyed figurine this is a really cool item here this is a collins special marking powder um tin not a tin but cylinder graphics are in pretty good condition overall i would say uh wh collins new york city it still has the contents in it but I think this would be great in a bathroom or maybe even in a laundry room if you want like vintage tins and um, advertising in there. So this was really cool. Like I said, it's in overall good condition. Do expect some wear and tear because it is older. I'm asking $10 for that and it's number 28. $10 number 28 for the awesome Collins Special Marking Powder. Powder. These are awesome. If you have a tiki bar or if you just love pineapples in general, these are vintage Japan pineapple salt and pepper shakers. Make sure there's no cracks or chips. Is that a chip on the... No. Probably just from how it was made. It looks like there was a glaze flaw there. But if, like I said, if you have a tiki bar, these would be great. This one's got some crazing and such on it, but you can display them like this. They're awesome. 
$8 for those, number 29. $8, number 29 for the really awesome pineapple salt and pepper shakers. This is really, really fun. I actually just picked this up not that long ago. It's a bee, or bees dancing push puppet. So what you do is you push down on the bottom and the bees go falling down. But then you let the button go and they come flying back up and they look smiley as all can be dancing together. Like a, it reminds me of like folk art or you know, like boho is where I would assume that this would go in. Spring and summer, you could probably put it in with fall too if you wanted. Uh, this is $7 and it's number 35. $7, number 35 for the B Push Puppet. All right, these are super adorable. Giant Piggy, I don't know if they're salt and pepper shakers or if they're just shakers because they each have three holes in them. Now I will say this Piggy right here unfortunately does have a chip on the top of her. You could try touching it up or maybe even filling it with clay if you wanted to. Like I said, I'm not sure if they're actual salt and pepper shakers because they look kind of big for that, don't you think? But I'm selling them together as a set. Uh, $10 for the set, number 39. $10, number 39, and I will say these are quite large. Very cool, though. Alrighty. Got just a few more items here, and then that'll be it for the drop sales for the week. So I have this snowflake paperweight. I don't know who makes it. I, I almost want to say it was Avon, but I could be wrong about that. I bought a bunch of paperweights from one dealer at one antique mall at one point. And I, uh, I just went kind of crazy because the prices were good. So you lay it down on the table and you can see a really nice shimmery snowflake. No cracks or chips. It is a really nice piece. I'm asking $8 for it, and it's number 34. $8, number 34, for the really awesome Snowflake Paperweight. Okay, and the last four items I'd like to share with you all for this drop sale are these awesome pieces. I have a, I think it's an American Bisque turkey planter. Not one of the bigger ones, one of the smaller ones. It's in good condition overall, free of any cracks or chips. It has the feet on the bottom. I'm asking $16 for him and he's number 36. $16, number 36 for this guy if you're interested. I can't remember if I shared him or not, but maybe I didn't. This is an awesome cowboy bobblehead made of like a composite material. He's still got the straw in him, so I assume he was probably never even used. He's marked high mount quality made in Japan by the MBD Co. Inc. in New York. Like I said, he's in good shape. No cracks or chips, maybe some minor paint loss, but he would be great in a Western theme. Bobbleheads are fun. I have $14 on him, and he's number 38. $14, number 38 for the awesome cowboy bobblehead. Now this is an awesome, awesome piece. This is a vintage yellow Hall USA teapot. It has the aluminum top to it and the little knob. It does come off. Here is the inside. Inside has a little bit of a vintage smell. I'm sure if you stuffed something up here to make it smell better, it would. But here is the teapot itself. Inside is a little bit dirty, but that's expected because it was a teapot that was used at one point in time. Free of any cracks or chips, even the spout is in good condition. I have $18 on that, and it's number 27. $18, number 27 for the Hall teapot. And the last thing I'd like to share with you all that I think is super, super fun and super, super cute is this awesome vinyl smiley face bank from the 70s. Vinyl, hard plastic, whatever you'd like to call it. It does have some paint loss, and there's like a weird black spatter on it. I don't know who makes them, but he's super fun and again, very 70s. I thought he was super cute and I had to pick him up. He is $25 and he's number 32. $25, number 32 for the really awesome smiley face bank from the 70s. 
So folks, that is everything that I would like to share with you all. These are my three sales for the week. Thanks so much for tuning in and making claims if you have. I will see you all on Saturday at 6 p.m. for my regular live sale. Remember, I will combine orders if you make any claims for this past week. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I will see you all on Saturday.